everybody, it's the Mobile Home Mama, and I wanted to go inside this one. This is a 16 by 76, three bedroom, two bath. You see this on my page a lot. We call this the K-Born, but in my last video, I talked about a trending thing that's going on, and I saw that in here. So I wanted to show that uh, to you guys and see get what your thoughts are. So if you could leave me a comment in the description, let me know what you think about it. Everybody is doing it. I don't know why, but um, it seems to be the new thing. Coming in the back door here, this is a split floor plan, three, two. Uh, sale price on this home, 76,000, 1,153 square feet. When you're coming in the back door, this is gonna be the secondary bedroom. So straight ahead is bedroom two. Behind this nine light door, we're gonna see the electrical panel. And when we swing around to the side, we're gonna see the washer dryer area, bath number two. They didn't switch it up in the bathrooms. It's the weirdest thing. So white cabinets, white top, white sink, white floors. We do have thunder on the, excuse me, white walls. We do have thunder on the floor. Summer Fiji on the nails. Uh, but kept it pretty bright in here. White fiberglass tub, shower combination. Here's bedroom three. This seems to be the larger of the two bedrooms. It's shaped differently. So. It's longer instead of wider. You will always find the water heater in this closet here. Hands down, always my most popular floor plan. There's so many things you can do with this one. And what's great is you got a very short hallway here. Coming in the back door, you can see it's only got enough room to put the furnace. Really not necessary to add a window in this hallway because it's so short. And as soon as you get into the living area, we're wide open with plenty of windows. Now, I just had a customer here today doing an appointment. She had some really cool design ideas. She likes the double windows. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do a double window there, a double 30 by 61, and enlarge these just like these two are here because this is going to face out into her yard. She's also going to um, fence it in and put a pool there, so yay. Uh, I love you guys and your ideas. You come here with just some really cool thoughts and it helps me. I appreciate you so much. This has always been a great entertainment wall. I'm standing at the edge of the kitchen so you can see how wide open this living area is. This is technically the front door. I came in the back because it was easier to come in that way. Here's what I want your opinion on. What do you think? Different, different, different everywhere. So Casper cashmere on the wall, right beside it we did an accent wall. Quartz frost on the countertops. Timberwolf on these cabinets, white on the top. But that's not all <laughs> when you turn around. Here we've got an island, Timberwolf and black on the island. It goes because we've got black appliances, but I think it's just a personal preference. This is the thing, guys. This is the new thing. Mix in and match in your cabinets and your countertops throughout your house. Uh, the thing about the K-Born, the distinguishing feature is always all of this cabinetry around here. But don't forget to do the overhead cabinet because that will be just a shelf if you're sticking with some basic features in the standard plan. All right, laminate backsplash, window blinds, uh, standard trim up there. I'm just looking around to see what I can point out. Here's the difference with you don't do perimeter heat. This is inline sectional heating. That means that ductwork is right underneath. And we always do it that way. But when you do perimeter heat, there would be extensions that run out to the inside perimeter of the walls, putting your heat registers up against the wall. So for example, imagine if this was your entertainment wall and <clears throat> let's say you've got a sectional that you wanna put right here. I mean, you've gotta work around this. So you would have to start your sectional here I mean, it just, it inhibits you in some ways, but it's a personal preference. Don't mind me. I'll do whatever you tell me to. Here's the primary bedroom. This floor plan has a very good sized primary bedroom. It's going to get a little dark here. I'm stuck between two houses. A deep closet. Do a shirt and skirt rack, please, guys. A nice cutout in here. Remember, I can do cabinets or you can bring your own. And they kept it white in this bathroom too. You can do a dual sink if you wanted to. 
you don't have to because me and my new friend Melissa, we have lots of hair products, so we would fill that thing full of stuff. And then everywhere you put a sink, guys, you're gonna get a three bulb light strip. Change that out to a two arm bath vanity light. They just look a lot more classy. Um, but again, that's personal preference. I'm just gonna, when you come and you visit with me, I'm just gonna do some recommendations and show you some differences. I'm in this dark bathroom, but here's the shower. Two seater, no door. Nobody wants to clean those doors. But some people like the security of having the door handle there while they're in the shower. So it's up to you. Here we go, recap, 1,153 square feet. This home is called the K-Born, 76,000. Three bedroom, two bath. My name is Christina. I'm a professional housing consultant here at Champion Homes, and I'd love to meet you. You can schedule right into my calendar, right on my main homepage, and uh, you can reach me at 260-383-1009. Have an awesome weekend, guys. Thanks for watching.